Good morning, ladies. Welcome to Centerpoint Church. It's Daily Devotion. My name is Maria Atana, and I'm part of the leadership team here at CPC. It's an honor to be able to be here with you today, and my prayer is that you will receive a blessing for what I'm about to share. Uh, so the last time we saw each other, we started on the topic of Esther leadership, and today we will continue on part two. The story of Esther is one of the most endearing stories of the faithfulness of God to his people. And Esther is a historical account of how Esther, the Persian queen, who was actually a Jew, saved her people from annihilation. So Esther was a remarkable leader who did not use her position to further herself, but rather she risked her life to save the exiled Jews from a wicked plot. We can see from Esther's life that she was a leader who was able to be led. She had a trusted person in her life whom she could turn to and speak and seek counsel from. We spoke previously about the importance of having that person in your life who can mentor you and to whom you can be accountable. Um, and that person is usually one step ahead of you in the journey of life. Uh, they are ahead of you in years, um, experience, knowledge and wisdom. And they are somebody who you can bounce ideas off and who help you to set goals in all areas of your life. But most importantly, they are someone who can ask you the tough questions and give you the raw answers that sometimes um, can be hard to swallow. So what type of leadership is up for leadership? Um, it's where we are being led. Um, in our previous devotion, I left you with the question, who is leading you? I pray that the Holy Spirit will bring into your life a woman who can mentor you and who can help you to go to that next level, whatever that may look like to you. But this week, uh, we are looking at shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder leadership, and I know that Pastor Trish loves the image of, we of women linking arm in arm and walking alongside one another, and her heart is for true, authentic sisterhood, where women come together under God and Christ to work together in the kingdom for the sake of the gospel. Um, and this will be our focus today. So let's just go back to the story of Esther and see how she portrayed shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder leadership. Well, we know from the historical account that when she discovered through her cousin Mordecai that the king had issued a decree to have the Jews annihilated, her first reaction was to reach out to those in her Jewish community. She told Mordecai in verse 15, um, to go and gather all the Jews and hold a fast on her behalf. They were not to eat or drink for three days. And she promised him that her and her young women who attended her at the palace would do the same. Uh, we see a picture here of a banding together of people coming alongside each other. Esther was well aware that she could not achieve God's purposes on her own. She needed people to come alongside her. And her mentor, Mordecai, who had been leading her up to this point, now came alongside her. Um, and the Bible says that he did everything as Esther had ordered him. In Ecclesiastes, there's a beautiful scripture that describes two people as being better than one. In Ecclesiastes 4, verses 9 through 12, it says that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, the other can help the other one up. It says that when they lie down next to each other, they're able to keep one another warm. And that when they are faced with opposition, together they can overcome. And it finishes by saying that a cord of three strains is not quickly broken. So my question to you today is, who is coming alongside you? And who are you coming alongside? At Centerpoint Church, we are very big on the ideal that Christian um, Christianity equals community. And one of the ways where we can come alongside each other is through our weekly connect groups. Um, leadership is not always about leading people from the front. Um, it's usually more about coming alongside people and joining with people for the sake of the gospel. Esther was a servant leader who risked her own life by appearing before the king which was against the law as you had to be summoned by the king back then. You could not go to the king out of your own will. Um, she put her own needs on the back burner for the good of the whole. And her famous words 
were if I perish, I perish. So servant leadership is visionary in that it, it's forward looking. Um, Esther looked into the future and we serve others and come alongside others because we know that in the future the fruit of our servanthood will be become evident. We may not see the outcome now, but we know that the fruit will come in its due season. Amen. Uh, you may not see yourself as a leader, as someone who is um, always in the limelight, but leadership is not about being in the limelight. It's not always about having the loudest voice in the room. Some of the most authentic Christian leaders that I know are those people who come alongside others and they come alongside with words of encouragement, acts of service and generosity. They come alongside in prayer and fasting with spiritual weapons of warfare on behalf of the other person. And we have some fierce war, uh, prayer warriors at CPC and I'm so glad that they are a part of our community. They have a call on their life to be intercessors for other people. Uh, well, thankfully, the um, Esther story finishes with a good ending. We know that the Jews were not annihilated and in fact, the man who orchestrated the whole plan to murder the Jews was in fact the one who was hanged at the gallows. And God used Esther as a vessel to save the Jewish exiles. But he also used the people to come alongside Esther in spiritual battle, um, in that battle that was unfolding before their very eyes. And the book of Esther finishes with this line. It says, And many people of Persia declared themselves Jews for fear of the Jews had fallen upon them. I love this verse as it tells me that when we come alongside each other for the sake of the gospel, the world will stop and marvel and the world cannot deny the strength that comes from a unified people who under God achieve his purposes. So as we come to a close, can you take some time to think about who you are coming alongside and who is coming alongside you? So next time we meet, we will look at downward leadership and ask the question, who am I leading? So until then, stay safe and may God's peace surround you today. God bless.